Taiwan says odds of war with China in next year, very low. Here's a summary of the article. Taipei, October 20th The odds of war with China in the next year are very low, a top Taiwanese security official told lawmakers on Wednesday, amid heightened tensions between Taipei and Beijing, which claims sovereignty over the island. Taiwan has repeatedly said that it will defend itself if attacked, but wants to maintain the status quo with China even as it complains of repeated sorties by the Chinese Air Force in its Air Defense Identification Zone, or ADIZ. I think generally, within one year, the probability of war is very low, National Security Bureau Director General Chen Ming Tong told a Parliamentary Defense Committee meeting. Earlier this month China mounted four consecutive days of mass air force incursions into Taiwan's ADIZ, which covers a broader area than Taiwan's territorial airspace. While China's aircraft did not enter into Taiwan's airspace, flying primarily in the southwestern corner of its ADIZ, Taiwan views the increased frequency of incursions as part of Beijing's intensifying military harassment. China defended its military activities as just moves to protect peace and stability, blaming the tensions on Taiwan's collusion with foreign forces, a veiled reference to the United States. Defense Minister Chu Kuo-cheng said last week that Taiwan will not start a war with China but will meet the enemy full-on. Military tensions with China are at their higher point in more than 40 years, Chu said earlier this month, adding China will be capable of mounting a full-scale invasion by 2025. This post received a score of 960, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Impossible. Reddit told me we're right on the brink of full-scale war. It seems like some Redditors just want something to talk about. I remember during the Hong Kong protests, so many people were gleefully commenting that another Tiananmen was going to occur. They don't really care about the people. They just want something to gossip about. That's what gets me. They want another Tiananmen to occur. They would be glad if people died if it means they get to criticize China for it. Most people don't give a shit about China. Most people don't really care about Tiananmen, nor do they want want another one. People want the drama. They like having crap to talk about. People want to feel like they're part of something. China is just Cold War 2.0. All these people making fun of boomers for nearly nuking the entire planet in the 60s are now frothing at the mouth over the next red menace. Yet I expect some Redditors to insist that war is right around the corner, despite the source of this statement. The last time I made a comment that merely points out that media is sensationalist, I got heavily downvoted. Same as the DPRK missile news when Trump was in office wherein only foreigners were concerned but if you spoke to actual South Koreans nobody cared over there. The Redditors who claimed that they would join a foreign legion to defend Taiwan from the mainland will be so disappointed. How else are they going to put their call-off duty experience to good use? Always has been this way. There is no reason for China to go war. Only reason for them to go to war is for Taiwan to announce independent. The countries, people that want the war to happen is not Taiwan, China. It is those who believe war will happen and hope for it to happen to feel good because what they believed has become true. The fact that terrorism apologia are accepted and even cheered for on the Anglo internet for convicted terrorists who carried out multiple attacks in China against Han, Uyghur, Wei civilians, etc., is more than enough to prove these armchair don't actually give a shit about real human beings. They just want to satisfy their pro-killing, pro-destruction, pro-hatred fantasy. My two cents on this, and it isn't a very hot take I know, is that Taiwan is to the CCCP as single-issue voting topics are to parties in the U.S. A very strong and very absolutist stance is expressed, but the issue is much more valuable to those in power as a catalyst and attention director than it is as a resolved quagmire, where people get what they wish for. It's hard to imagine a scenario where China benefits from taking military action against or even occupying Taiwan. The party already has a lot on its plate and swelling of national pride, or whatever would be almost instantly outstripped by resistance factions, international blowback, and economic turmoil. It's really easy to observe how valuable Taiwan is as a rodeo clown. Is it a coincidence that China escalated tensions are rising right as the country is trying to figure out how to mitigate the crash landing of Evergrande and the sector at large? Maybe I can't really claim to have good evidence one way or another. 
It is pretty clearly very convenient whether it's serendipitous or not, and there is a bit of a pattern to follow. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.